is Fox 5 Morning News. As the baby boom generation continues to age, we're likely to be hearing more about age-related macular degeneration, an eye disease that mostly affects those 50 and older. Now, although the prognosis can be severe and scary, there are treatments and preventive measures that may lessen the severity of macular disease. Joining us now is Dr. Richard Garfinkel with the Retina Group of Washington. He is a board certified, or he is board certified, by the American Board of Ophthalmology, and he's written extensively on Eye health. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Tony. And you come bearing uh, props, which is good. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, define the term first of all. Macular degeneration. And we hear about wet macular degeneration and dry. First of all, what is the disease? Macular degeneration is a chronic and often progressive disease of the central vision. The macula is the central part of the retina, and when it becomes damaged, our ability to perform fine visual tasks like driving, reading, recognizing faces, threading a needle become impaired. Mm. And so the, the typical person will have, as you described earlier, uh, no symptoms at the very beginning. Uh, those can go on to develop some mild visual impairment and often severe visual impairment as the disease progresses. We have uh, photos uh, of uh, an eye with wet macular degeneration and then dry. Let's start with wet macular degeneration. And, and, and tell me what we're seeing here and what the difference is between the two. What you're actually seeing here is a, called a fluorescein angiogram. It's a circulation test that helps us identify and detect wet macular degeneration. These are abnormal blood vessels that grow, which are the hallmark of wet macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. So as we do this test, we can confirm what we suspect clinically when we examine a patient and, and find that they do indeed have wet macular degeneration and recommend appropriate treatment. Then we have dry macular degeneration. How is that different? Dry macular degeneration, and, and this photograph demonstrates it very well, consists of these yellow deposits that we call drusen. Drusen are combinations of proteins and lipids, fats, mm -hmm. uh, that get deposited. And we even find some products of our immune system in those little yellow deposits. Hmm. And so that's what we look for when we examine somebody to detect whether or not they have macular degeneration. Now, we said it's often age-related. What, uh, uh, what else causes this? And, and who's most uh, vulnerable to developing this disease? Well, let's start with the premise that this is a genetically-based disease. So we're born with the genetic profile that's going to determine to a great extent whether or not we're going to develop macular degeneration. On top of this profile and this risk uh, is going to be environmental factors. For example, smoking would greatly modify one's risk, even if they were at low risk for developing macular degeneration. That's going to raise their risk, mm -hmm. as are uh, other things that keep us healthy, like low blood pressure, cholesterol that's controlled, all of those heart healthy uh, environmental risks that, that are recommended by physicians also help reduce your risk of developing macular degeneration and right. vision loss. All right. There are tests, uh, and we, you, you brought uh, one of these, I guess this little graph. We have a close-up of, uh, we'll go to that in just a moment. Let's go to the close-up of the graph. Uh, and, and I, you know, I've taken this before. This is something that you uh, take when you go to your ophthalmologist. Right. This is called an Amsler grid. It's uh, the technology that began in 1945, actually. And it's a very nice, inexpensive way of determining whether or not somebody is converting from what we call dry macular degeneration to the more se uh, severe wet macular degeneration. As you close one eye and look at the graph, you see distortion during the development of wet macular degeneration, or you can see blotches in your vision. And so this, as a screening test or a screening tool, can be very helpful and uh, is used as a home monitoring uh, mechanism for patients with dry macular degeneration. Speaking of home monitoring, you brought this device in, and, and this is some, this is, is this new? This is new. This is an FDA-approved uh, device called the 4C Home Monitor. It's a, uh, based on a very interesting principle where we could see misalignment of lines better than we can small letters on an eye chart. And these misalignments are projected through this machine, and uh, people with macular degeneration who are using it take this test daily. And it's, it's monitored uh, and evaluated by an independent uh, reading center. And after a baseline is established, it can determine whether or not you develop or developing wet macular degeneration. And do you, do you have to buy this or you rent it or what? what this, is, this is leased. Um, and so there's a monthly charge for, for the monitoring primarily part of this. And it's, um, 
uh, as long as it's needed, the, the lease would be in effect. And if someone were to develop, wet, to, to develop wet macular degeneration and it was no longer being used, there'd be no more charges. All right, bottom line is if you, if, if you have it in your family or you've got any of those risk factors, uh, you need to go to your eye doctor. Uh, Dr. Garfinkel, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Thank you, Tony. Good to have you here. We appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Fox 5 Morning News in just a couple of moments.